When a lioness, known for her consistently poor health, was deemed on the brink of death, the sanctuary workers grew despondent. How could they help such a beautiful animal escape her doomed end? Everything changed one fateful day, when she saw her neighbor and became obsessed with him. When Sheila was rescued from a horrid man who simply collected exotic animals for his own monetary gain, she was in a very bad shape. Little did she know that she wasn't the only one that came from that situation. It was only when all hope was lost that the truth surfaced. In some places of the world, owning exotic animals is completely legal. There are special procedures that are put in place to ensure that the individuals who apply for a permit to own an exotic pet are doing so with the animal's best intentions. So, when people with these permits end up disregarding the well-being of the animals they own, the repercussions can be quite severe. And for good reason. Rico was one of these individuals. He had obtained his permit for owning exotic animals 10 years earlier, and so far he hadn't had any incidents with the law. If anything, one would have assumed he was a model citizen when it came to the way he cared for and treated his animals. Only the truth could not have been further off. He was the proud owner of many exotic animals coming from a wide variety of places all over the world. His vast property and funds allowed him to do so. His most prized possession was no other than the king of the jungle himself a lion. The beast exuded respect, but the way he was treating him was less than exemplary. Fortunately, the truth came out and his privileges were revoked. A friend of Rico visited him at his place in the countryside and saw the horrendous state the lion was in. He reported the situation to the authorities, and soon officials paid him a visit. Turns out that all this time, Rico had been abusing the privilege of having a permit for these animals for his own monetary gain. He was earning a fortune by not only inviting people to come and take photos with his lion, but also renting him out for events and parties. So in fact, he was exploiting the precious animal he was legally required to treat well. This finding was made even worse by the state the lion was in. Initially, Rico had only one male lion, but when he was exposed, the authorities took him away. He went by the name Khan and was terribly malnourished. At only six years of age, he looked ancient and unfortunately had chewed his tail right down to a stub out of boredom. He was taken to the Texas InSync Exotics Wildlife Rescue and Education Center, where he was treated for his wounds and lack of nutrition. Very soon, thanks to his bubbly nature, he bounced back to life. He had earned a second chance, and the staff was determined to give him the best life he could have. Rico had received a written warning and fine, and most importantly had lost his prized lion. One may think he had learned his lesson, but he was too stubborn and greedy to stick to the right path. Soon he sourced another lion, a female this time, and continued his shady trades with her. Poor Sheila was only 15 months old when the authorities found her during a routine check-in. She was so weak she could hardly stand, never mind moving around at all. This was the final straw. Authorities immediately revoked Rico's permit and charged him for his demeanors. This was only six months after Khan had been rescued. Rico clearly didn't care for his animals and valued money more than anything else in the world. So poor Sheila was whisked away to her new home and went to the same sanctuary that Khan had been taken to. They were, however, totally unaware of one another. Sheila was in terrible condition, and her situation only seemed to be getting worse. Day after day, the veterinarians would check in on her and try to assist where they could to ensure the improvement of her health, even though they felt their hands were tied. The main issue with Sheila stemmed from malnourishment. She couldn't stand up, never mind eat, but food was exactly what she needed. This is where a brave caretaker stepped in trying her very best to ensure that Sheila managed to get some food down. This entailed something that not many people would ever even dream of doing. Every day, she hand-rolled meatballs and fed them to the poor lion by hand. But because Sheila was so weak, the caretaker actually had to push the meatballs down the lion's throat which sometimes resulted in her being elbow deep down the big cat's mouth. Talk about being brave. This continued for a whopping two whole weeks before they began to see a small improvement in Sheila's health. Unfortunately, her efforts weren't enough. Something else was clearly wrong, but the staff hadn't picked it up yet. 
the veterinarians went back to the drawing board and tried to understand what her issues could be, just based on Sheila's symptoms. It was important for them to have a solid idea before running any unnecessary tests or stressing the lion out any more than she needed. It took just over two days before one veterinarian had a breakthrough. Her theory, if proved correct, would mean that poor Sheila could in fact be treated, and within a few weeks could be in the condition she was meant to be. They were then in a race against time. They needed a blood test to confirm, and everyone held their breath in hopes that it was positive. And it was. What had baffled caretakers and veterinarians simply turned out to be an infection that they could, in fact, treat. Turns out that Sheila had contracted toxoplasmosis, an infection that causes animals to completely lose their appetite and become extremely lethargic. Now that they knew what the main issue was, they could fix it. The caretaker and vet went to work straight away, organizing the treatment the poor lioness needed to get better. Everyone was feeling pretty positive about the prognosis. While the treatment was proving successful, it still took time for Sheila to start feeling the positive effects of the medicine. The infection had run rampant for so long it had done some serious damage that was going to take a good while to heal. Whilst her physical health was improving, her caretaker could not help but grow even more concerned for the big cat's mental health. She may have been getting more energy, but she still moped all day around her enclosure, barely showing excitement about anything at all, not even food. That's until one day, the caretaker walked in and was greeted by a lion she didn't recognize. Just a day prior to this, it was decided that Khan would be moved next door to Sheila in an effort to eventually introduce them to each other. The staff didn't know if they were going to become good friends or mortal enemies, but as it turned out, they had nothing to worry about. When Sheila locked eyes with Khan for the very first time, she reacted in a shy, fearful way. She was not used to other animals, never mind one like herself. But it was Khan's attitude and friendly behavior that brought about change within the lioness that no one could have expected. Sheila grew obsessed with her new neighbor. What was once a lioness that simply reeked of death was now a wildcat full of life and excitement. When the caretakers walked into her enclosure that day, Sheila was simply bounding around with her tail swishing with excitement. She was mirroring Khan in the next enclosure. It was as if they were lifelong friends that had not seen each other in forever. It truly was a beautiful sight. This friendship only grew in intensity in conjunction with Sheila's overall health. Now she was not only physically stronger, but also so much happier. When her treatment was over and she was safe to be around other animals, the sanctuary decided to introduce her to the friend she had only seen from afar. Their first meeting was truly a sight for sore eyes. The lions wasted no time running up to one another and began hugging each other. The caretakers were met with loud roars of happiness. It was clear that these two beautiful creatures were meant to be together after all. Who would have thought that after the traumatic start they had in life, they could still be so happy and fulfilled just with each other's company? What a heartwarming story. What do you think of the special permits that allow rich people to own wild animals? Tell us in the comments below. Thanks for watching and see you next time.